Hello everybody, Dr. Carlo Ojeda with EDX in Video Pro. It must be Friday because I'm uploading an EKG video. Today we're going to talk about this rhythm. You can see that as it starts off, it looks a normal PQRST. PQRST, nice and slow, maybe a little too slow, bradycardic. Uh, but then all of a sudden, nothing happens. Uh, normal beat and nothing happens so we're going to talk about this issue and what it is what it means how it's defined so let's get to it this is called a sinus pause uh, or arrest is defined as the transient abscess of a sinus p waves on the ekg that may last for two seconds to even several minutes in this particular case 2.5 seconds between P to P, 2.5 seconds. So this is called a sinus pause or sinus arrest. There's a difference between a sinus arrest and a sinus block. With a sinus block, the RR interval measurement is within plus or minus two small boxes. Um, here is how to report a rhythm, normal sinus rhythm with sinus block. What that means is that the difference between um, this interval and this interval is less than double what it was, and definitely less than two and a half seconds. A sinus arrest, on the other hand, the interval measurement is greater than plus or minus two small boxes. So if it's less than two boxes, then it's sinus block. If it's more than two boxes, then it's sinus arrest. Now, if the patient ends up passing out because of um, a sinus arrest, then this is called an Adam Stokes attack. And this is something worth memorizing and learning because one day you will impress a cardiologist or a consultant by knowing this. If somebody passed out because of sinus pause or arrest. Causes of sinoatrial arrest or pauses? Well, it's high vagal tone. The, va the vagal nerve is acting too much and is uh, benign and the most common cause of sinus arrest or pause. It commonly affects younger individuals who endure intense emotional stress, acute pain, or other stimulant increases of vagal tone. In all other situations, sinus arrest or pause should be considered abnormal, and the following differential diagnoses are at hand. Sinoatrial node dysfunction, the side effects of drugs like beta blockers and calcium channel blockers, digitalis and so on, low oxygen levels or hypoxia, myocardial ischemia or infarction, and high potassium. So the differential diagnosis of sinus atrial pauses when it's not just due to increase in vagal tone, which is normal in young healthy people, is sinoatrial node dysfunction, medication side effects, low oxygen, myocardial ischemia or infarction, and high potassium and that's it so the difference between sinus block and sinus arrest is because there is a pause but it doesn't meet the criteria of more than two seconds so a sinus block versus sinus arrest if somebody passes out because of sinus block that's called an Adam Stokes attack Adam Stokes and for people who have more than three seconds of pause three second pause and are symptomatic those patients probably will need a pacemaker and more definitive intervention for those people who just has minor symptoms you can give atropinoid medications to increase the heart rate and try to get rid of it so here you go we learned today what sinus pause or arrest is how it's defined two and a half seconds or more between one qrs complex and the next or from p to p way and uh, what what's it called when somebody passes out because of an arre sinus arrest Adam Stokes and the differential diagnosis of the causes of a sinus pause or rest when it's not just vagal tone and here they are hope you enjoy this video we will see you in the next one bye bye